Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to Codepipe. We are currently designing front end of our e-commerce website. In the previous section, we have seen how to install VS Code and how we can initialize our Django application. We have also set up our templates. So in this video, we will start designing our desktop view using HTML and CSS. For that, we will do a little setup. We will set up our colors, fonts that will take from Adobe XD. Next, we will set up the bootstrap library and icon library that we will use in our website HTML page. Let's get started. This is Adobe XD and if you remember from previous sections, first of all, we decided what colors we will need, what fonts we will need and we have set up our mood board. Similarly, in our HTML page, we will first initiate our colors and fonts that we will use throughout the process. So this is our VS code. We will set up the colors and fonts in our CSS files. CSS files are basically helper files which we can use to design our HTML page. So we will define the CSS files in our static folder. It is empty so I will make a new folder CSS. Inside this CSS I will make a new file that will be base.css and I will make one more file which will be fonts underscore CSS dot CSS. What I'm going to do is in base.css, I will put the colors and in fonts CSS, I will only put the fonts that we will be going to use. As there are many fonts, I wanted a separate file for them. First thing to do is we need to initiate our railway for our complete HTML page. So we will go to Google fonts. Inside Google fonts, we will search for railway and here it is. On this page, we can see there are a lot of variables that are present for railway. Let it be thin, italic, extra light, etc. So I will select regular, italic and bold. And I can change the font size in my HTML. So here I will take regular 400. And here we can see we got a pop-up uh, that will be very useful. So let's keep it here. Then I will take regular 400 italic. And then I will take bold 700. So we can see we have 400, 400 italic and bold. Now we can directly use this in our HTML page. And it also provides CSS so that we can inform our CSS files that you have to use railway for our HTML page. So let's copy this which is base.html. Inside our head tags, I will put fonts and I will paste this. From our browser, I will copy this CSS styling. Go to our base.css and here I will make it body and font family this one. This is a way to inform that the complete body should have the font family of railway. And if this is not available, this will take default. This is how we can initiate railway as our font family. After this, we will make our color variables that will be defined into the root of HTML page so that they can be called upon anywhere on the HTML page. Let me show you how to do it. For that, we will use colon root. Anything we will initiate inside this will be under the root of HTML and to make any variable we need to start it with double dash and then we can write any name so let me make it dark orange and color we will take from Adobe XD here you can see we have these colors available with us that we want to use so I can just put it here and see the color of this which is this one I will copy this in our base.html I will directly paste it so here we have created one variable. Let me show you how we can use it in different classes or different CSS classes. Let's say we have a example class CSS. So I will directly use color which is variable dark orange. Here we are trying to define colors in the root and we want to use them across the CSS file and HTML page. And this also helps us in not repeating our code. So if we want to change dark orange to some other code we can directly change it here and it will take place on the complete CSS file. So that is one added advantage of using variables and root. To save some time let me skip over where I have defined all of the colors. Here we are. Now I have defined all the colors that we have used in our Adobe XD file. I have literally copy pasted all the codes and given variable names according to my convenience. Let me show you how we can set up our font CSS class so that we can use them directly in our base.html or any other HTML file. For that we have to come into our Adobe XD 
like we did with the colors we can give it any class name and we can take font size from here and font weight from here in the fonts this is the title in black 48 and bold for that in our font css i will write the class as title one black so i will remember it okay title one means this and i can use this class directly into our html here i will give font size as 48 pixel and font weight as bold let me quickly show you a demo of this we will go to our base.html first of all we will link our css files to the page so in our header we will make it css files our css files are kept in static folder we have already set up our static in settings.py and on the html page to use the static files we need to use one django template tag which is curly brackets percent percent and here we have to write load static so using this we can use static files that are placed in the static folder so inside this css files i will use link css in the href section i will use the template tagging from django which is curly brackets percent percent here we have to write static and now we have to give the location of our static file so it is under css and then base.css i will copy the same thing paste it again and here i will use font underscore css dot css on this h1 tag we will use the class that we have defined so class we will say title one black so if we run our server python manage.py run server on our web browser we can identify that this is not the default font style of our html page and this is quite bigger if we inspect the page we can see on the right side that in the body we are getting the font family as railway and in the root there are all the colors which we have defined hence we are successfully able to define the variables and the font for our page now in our fonts.css this is just one class which we have defined so let me skip forward where i have defined all the class from all the three colors if we remember we are going to use black color for our font white color as well as orange color so let me define all of it here we are after defining everything so i have defined each and every font that we are going to use starting from black then we have white fonts and at the last we have orange fonts so this is how we can set up colors and different font font styles for our html page now let's see how we can set up bootstrap and icon library for our html page first of all for bootstrap we will go to our browser we will search for bootstrap and the official site is getbootstrap.com so we will click on this we will go for get started here there are two sides of bootstrap first is css and second one is js so i will copy this css link go to our base.html you can put this anywhere in the head tag but for simplicity i will put it near my css files so i will paste it here i will copy this script and as per the documentation we can place it anywhere at the end of our body so in base.html at the bottom i will just say scripts and i will paste it here now we can use different components from bootstrap to make our work easy at the last let us define the icon library for that i will use font awesome we can have different icons from here some icons are free and some icons are paid so as per the convenience we can take if we scroll down here we can say we can start for free and on this page if we scroll down we can download them and use it in our static files so i will download this on this page at the top we will see a download link using which we can download the zip file inside which all the files will be available to use font awesome on our website and below that there is a little documentation like what's in the download what all we are going to get how we can use the web fonts with css but i'll guide you through the process so it will be simple if we click on this button we will get to download this zip file so if we save this and if we go to the folder if we unzip this we will get a folder with all the info so we will need from css i will take all.css go to our scripts in the folder that is in static css and here i will paste it 
and also I will rename it to font awesome all dot CSS so it will be easy for me to differentiate and after this we will go to the main folder we don't need JS then we will need web fonts we will copy this complete folder go to our static and paste it here only because by default the font awesome will look into static folder so we will keep it here only if we change the folder inside some other folder we might get some error so we must always keep web fonts in the static directory now the next step is to inform our main HTML page from where to take the font awesome CSS just like we did with base.css so let's see here just below the other CSS files I will use link CSS and here I will again use static and I will inform it to go into CSS and take font awesome dash all dot CSS and we will save this the setup for using font awesome icons is done now let's try to see a demo on the website if we search for any icon let's say home it will give us some options and the grayed out ones we cannot use but we can use this black ones so I will click on this on this page we can have all the information that is related to an icon if we click it will be copied I will go to my HTML page now after this h1 tag I will directly paste that iframe tag and if we check our page and here we can see this is already there this is home page and we are also getting the icon with this we have completed the setup of colors fonts and also bootstrap and icon library this is a good place to conclude this video here from the next video we will start customizing our page so stay tuned for that if you are coming here for the first time I upload videos on every Sunday and currently we are doing e-commerce website using Django so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss any videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then this is Somewhere taking your leave. Adios.